up whitey nerdigans this is the one and only pack of girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the promised neverland chapter 63 and last chapter we found the weakness of the demons and it's like the center point in the eye and now we're gonna get to this next chapter it's gonna be oh my god this chapter better be good i swear well it's the promised neverland it's always good anyway let's get to this chapter see what happens next Pant, pant. <gasps> Woo! Yee! We're, we're gonna boil it! We got the flashback! We're, we're, we're not, we're, we're, I'm, I'm calling him Hamish because he is so fucking Hamish from, uh, from Hunger Games! He totally is! We're gonna get, we're finally gonna get the truth about him! Oh my god. AO8-63. Uh, Remi um, reminiscences of a distant tragedy. Why? Let's go, everyone. Let's go to the human world together. Why am I the only one to survive? Why? It's all my fault. He was left alone with his sorrow, and this chapter is titled Help. Gasp. PTSD. PTSD. Let's get going. Dude, they, dude, Emma and Ray look like they've been through war. They're just like, they're fucking hardened now. They're like, Jesus. The morning of the third day. Just two more days. It's so sleepy. The demons raided us in the middle of the night. Ray and I hardly even slept yesterday or the day before. Probably a stray from the pack, am I right? Good thing it was only one. The nameless man is in high spirits. Um... Sleep however you like. Everyone keeps watch on their own, like, um, when we ate. We can, um, be attacked from anywhere at any time, and that goes for him too, but as I predicted, he, um, he's something else. The way he moves in stealth, the way he can sense danger, how he handles demons, his shooting skills, and so on. We too, we must watch carefully and steal it all. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, my god holy shit that's a huge ass demon today's lunch oh no it's nowhere to be seen huh yeah it's time to go hunting hmm N uh, no the food part is okay what are you saying what if you can't find anything to eat on the way what will you do kilda everyone thank you for the food 25 shots left we're managing to save ammunition better um, we're making good progress, too. And we're slowly understanding how to escape them. Keep it up. Yeah, keep it up, guys. Oh, my God. Dude, like, I would have probably died the first day. I could not survive that shit, uh, running from demons. Like, I could barely run as it is. Man, they're stubborn. More so than I thought. Dude, hey, Mitch. No, these aren't the these aren't the same kids that were with you. I I don't know if you came from Grace and uh, Gracefield Plantation, but Gracefield Plantation is known for the pretty smart stock. You know this, so yeah. I, I'm guessing the kid the plantation where you came from wasn't like premium quality, so to speak. It's amazing that they've kept the pace within uh, Target. These kids are 11, maybe 12 years old, and they've managed to come along on the four-day route. How old was I when I went back through this path? 15 or, no, 16? Yeah, he was, oh my god, he was 16. This won't do. They're all battered up, but the light in their eyes is still shining. Ugh, makes me sick in the stomach, those eyes brimming with hope. I feel like throwing up. Was it that dream this morning? I'll be done with this soon. I've already made up my mind. I just gotta pick the place. Which one should I kill? Tomorrow at the go at the Goldie Pond, I'm getting rid of you. Oh fuck. The preparations are all complete. I'll let death come to this one. <gasps> no! Look, we're or, um we're up to A07-63 already. A08 um uh 63 is right over there. Seems like we'll get there even earlier than we thought. Tomorrow morning, we might reach it before noon. I'm tired. After that 
thing on the first day that man didn't pull any more traps for two days now. Did he give up? No, no way. Ray knows. Ray's not an idiot. Hamish, Ray, uh, you, you don't, I don't think you understand Hamish, aka the guy that has no name. I'm still calling him Hamish because he's, he's totally fucking Hamish from the Hunger Games. I know this, this seems weird, but whatever. But until he has a name, I'm calling him Hamish. But, dude, you are under, just like Hamish underestimated Katniss and Peta, you are underestimating Ray and Emma, like, so much. And you are doing anything you can to get rid of him. Not, again, isn't this why he reminds me so much of Hamish, but he's not drowning his sorrows away in booze like Hamish. Instead, he drowns his sorrows away in cookies. <laughs> um... Meaning that if he's going, uh, uh, sorry, meaning that if he's uh, been up to something, he's going to play his hand tomorrow at the Goldie Pond. He has probably been to A08-63 before. Since he knows uh, two paths not on the map, at the very least, he must have managed to reach the pond and come back. Goldie Pond, just what is he expecting, uh, uh, just what is expecting us there? What kind of pl place is it? What is that man planning to do once we get there? <gasps> Oh, it says they're danger poachers. I mean, that's finally fight out with the fucking poachers. Oh my god, finally! I've been waiting to hear about the fucking poachers all for like weeks now. I won't fall for your plans. It's my responsibility. I can't afford to lose to you. Emma, we have to talk. Tomorrow that man will. Ta da! Dinner is served. Seems like you already got the knack for uh, spotting food in this forest. <laughs> How are we supposed to um, to do a uh, gut nut for a lizard, I wonder? Let me see it. If you cut it the normal way, I've read about this in an old book. Phew, everyone is safe and sound. What? I'm all together right now, but Gilda and the others in the shelter and Phil and the kids who stayed in the house. Before we left, that man asked me if our decision was the right one. He didn't have to ask, though. From the moment I decided to go with it, I was already scared. Is this, uh, is this the right move? Are we making a mistake? Um, let's see. Is, is it really a good idea for us to go to the Goldie Pond alone? Temporary or not, should we really have left Phil's group behind? And letting Norman... That... I can't keep going... I can't keep going back to this. I have to look forward. I can't afford to lose myself. I know that, but still. Oh, poor Emma. I'm scared if the choices we made are wrong. Oh, my gosh. The terror of seeing your ideals, uh, your choices kill your friends. The terror he mentioned, we know how heavy it is. But what if you then lose everyone to your choices? I can't even imagine the horror, the pain of it. And that's what he is going through. That is what Hamish is going through right now. I've been wondering about the meaning of that wall, all covered up with the word help. Finally! Finally! I've been waiting for more thought, ugh, more depth about, about that. Thank God. And watching this man so closely these three days, I kept thinking of it. Ray, I've decided to talk it over with him. I do understand what you were going to say, but enough. I'm fed up with mind games. What? Hey, wait, mister. Before tomorrow come, comes, let's sit down and have a good long heart to heart. I'm going to save you. The hell? <laughs> um, Emma believes they can understand each other, so she she decided she decided to help him. That's what she's, she's decided to save him. And I totally understand what she means by this. Cause like she, cause she feels the same way as um as Hamish here, cause like as we saw at the beginning of the chapter with his PTSD nightmare, we saw how he feels like the decisions that he made caused um uh, he believes that the decisions he made caused the death of all of his comrades, and Emma feels like if Emma feels the same feels like that if her family dies, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be because of the decisions that she made. So I'm very curious what you guys think um, about this chapter. And do you, do you think we're going to finally get this motherfucker's name? So maybe next week? Oh, God, it's 5 in the morning. I'm tired. Let me know uh, your uh, thoughts in the comment section below. Um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. 
If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my uh, my um, Amazon wish list. All that's in the, in the description box below. Also, um, also make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel from me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.